I'm WCBI meteorologist Trevor Burchett. We are still keeping a close eye on this cold front that is very quickly approaching our area. You see it draped up there uh, just to our north over Memphis at this point. Notice, though, much of the rainfall has been behind the front, and that's what we're going to have to deal with overnight tonight and into early Monday morning as this front slowly makes its way on out of here. So for tonight, we'll call our low 67, the last mild night for a while. We'll throw in about a 40% chance for some showers, maybe a thunderstorm as that cold front moves in, but not everybody is going to see rain overnight tonight. There are some better chances for rainfall early tomorrow morning, anywhere from the early morning pre-dawn hours into the early afternoon hours, I think is our best shot for rain. So grab that umbrella as you start your week. Notice though, we're only going to top out in the low to mid 70s by the afternoon hours of Monday. So it's going to feel a lot more fall like. So there you see that cold front overnight tonight still up to our north. And as it comes on through here, like I mentioned, most of the precipitation is going to be behind the front. So this front's going to come through here around four o'clock, maybe a shower or a storm. But again, most of the activity is going to be after that, say early morning hours of Monday. This is 7 a.m. So while most people are starting their day, rain pretty much all over the radar. So make sure you wear the rain boots tomorrow and definitely pack the umbrella as you head off to work. You will definitely need it as we go into the early morning hours of Monday. Notice, though, that cold front scoots on out of here. And by the afternoon on Monday, most everybody is dry apart from a shower. And by the evening hours of Monday, say around sunset, we might even see a few peaks of sun as those clouds and rain all clear out of here, so it should shape up to be a pretty nice evening once all of that rain pushes out of here. Pretty nice overnight Monday into early Tuesday. I think Tuesday is going to be an absolutely gorgeous day. Not much in the way of cloud cover and no rain anywhere to be found, and temperatures are going to be a lot more comfortable. We are also tracking our second cold front, believe it or not. There is a second one right now up in the uh, northern plain states, North Dakota, uh, that cold front just now coming through there. And then as this comes a little closer to us, it's actually a little stronger than the cold front that's going to be coming through overnight tonight. So say around Thursday, Friday, it's going to start to get a little closer. That's going to bring us increased chances for some showers and storms as we go into Friday afternoon and Friday evening. And then as this cold front pushes on through here uh, late Friday night into early Saturday morning, that's going to usher in much cooler air. Definitely the coolest air we've felt in a while, and I think a lot of people will enjoy that, seeing that we've been dealing with these very hot temperatures for the last few days. So notice, we stay fairly cool for the middle of the week, nice and dry, plenty of sun, 80 for us on Tuesday, back into the mid-80s by Thursday, but that cold front's going to come through on Friday, knocking our temperatures down. Notice, high in the 60s for Saturday, and a morning low on Sunday of 47 degrees. So some very chilly weather as we start your Sunday.